Thank you for joining us. I'm Courtney Cole with the WBZ News Update. Here's a look at our top stories. Governor Baker filing a $40 million proposal to help schools keep kids safe. The $40 million will go towards security and communication upgrades in K-12 schools and public higher education. It would support safety measures and planning for child care providers, help districts set up an anonymous tip line to report threats, a statewide public awareness campaign, ongoing emergency response training, and the creation of of a school safety website. Suffolk County DA candidate Ricardo Arroyo is calling for an independent investigation into sexual assault allegations against him. Arroyo denies reports in the Boston Globe that he was investigated for sexual assault when he was a teenager. He was never charged. The Globe said one of the accusations came after a party in 2007. Arroyo says he will not drop out of the DA's race or resign, but he has lost at least three significant endorsements. Police in Peabody, they're still looking for a suspect who attacked a man on a popular bike path. The victim says the man approached him with a knife, demanding money and jewelry in the middle of the day. He also told police the man broke his nose. People we spoke with on the path tell us that they're taking extra precautions now and walking in groups. Police are still investigating, but have not made any arrests. Now we want to go ahead and take a check of the forecast with next weather meteorologist Dave Epstein. Hey, Dave. Hello, Courtney, and uh, what a beautiful afternoon we have going on. It will translate into a very nice evening. If you want to do some outdoor dining, certainly comfortable temperatures in the 70s, falling to the 60s, but that's not going to happen until very late at night. Really no chance of any precipitation. You can see by tomorrow morning at Logan Airport, I think we'll be around 70, maybe a couple degrees below. Uh, other places getting down into the 60s, so fairly comfortable. A little bit of humidity. Tomorrow the humidity comes back here. We'll have a southwesterly flow. Temperatures get up near 90. Certainly a nice beach day. A little bit cooler across the hills of southern Vermont and New Hampshire, and a little cooler as well over the Cape and the Islands. There's a chance for some severe weather, especially west of 128, 495 belt tomorrow. Some of that could try to get into the Boston area. We'll have to wait and see how those storms hold together. Whatever we get, the rain will be down here uh, during the afternoon tomorrow, and then probably that's it for rainfall. If we don't see any rain here on Friday, it's unlikely we see any rain until sometime next Tuesday or Wednesday. It's going to take that long before the next round of showers gets in. So if your garden is dry, hope for some showers tomorrow. Beautiful weekend upcoming, uh, and then very warm next week. Courtney? All right. Thank you, Dave. I'm Courtney Cole. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a good day.